What's going on YouTube? Checking the life here. One more time, guys. Guys and gals and gals and gals. Yeah. Alright guys, check it out. I gotta get a pin a lot. I gotta get a pin a lock, I'm gonna try some guys. But well, before I get that, before I try to get that pin a lot, guys, this video right here gonna be about some ways you can make money in a motor business without actually driving a truck. You know, without you driving a truck yourself. But I know one way is since I'm back here, guys. These are anybody know what these culprits are, man? Anybody know what these are? Yeah, I'll wait for it. Look at that. Look at that sign right there. Look at that. Uh-huh, look at that. Dot ten dot zero zero dot. And this boy's one, boy. Two zero. Ten twenties, man. The infamous ten twenties, boy. They show no love to nobody. They don't discriminate. They ain't sexist. They ain't racist. They don't care about nobody. They gonna blow on everybody. Yeah, when I first got into real business, I seen these tires, I was like, man, boy, who put some chunky tires? This is on some, on some cans, baby. Let's go. I was greatly deceived, boy. Them things blew up like popcorn on the side of the road, boy. They, they, they don't respect nobody, let me tell you that. Anyway, let me drop this, guys, and uh, I'll talk about why I'm talking about the 1020s, and one of the reasons you can make money and animal the business without actually having to drive a truck. Oh, man. It's more than one way to scan the cat in this business. These are things I know because I've dealt with it, but uh, I'll get to that in a minute. Then I'll probably finish the video uh, in another real, y'all, guys. I gotta get out of here and uh, get back in some traffic before it get too, too bad. Even though it's probably... Somebody found them a garbage can, huh? Even though it's probably getting crazy right now, but... I'm gonna try to see what I can do, guys. See if I can jack it up a little bit. What I'm gonna do is, this is my plan. Sometimes you can do this to get the front pin to lock. Uh, right here, check it out. This pin right here won't lock. So it's like a little low. I don't know if you guys see it up in there. It's a little lower. So what sometimes you can do is you can pull your fifth wheel forward. If I'm gonna try to pull it forward right there and let it drop on here, probably lift this up a little bit. I'm gonna lock that. Sometimes you come in on an angle with your fifth wheel, back up over here, jack it up a little bit, it should be able to lock. The chassis too beat up, man. It's too jacked up, guys. I can't get it, man. Sometimes you can take your fifth wheel, you can move it over some, and then get that pan to lock, but sometimes it won't work, guys. This is one of them cases where it won't work. So I'm gonna have to go ahead and leave this joint. That's so why YouTube, like I was saying, man. Different, I'm in a different yard now from when I was, uh, y'all saw me up with the 1020s. The 1020s is a good business, guys, because uh, making money with a motor, hang around some real yards with a mobile tire pla repair place. But man, you are really, boy, you really make a killer, man, because uh, when the weather breaks, when it get hot, all you can see is gators on the road. And I can almost guarantee, man, if there's some containers with cans around somewhere, you might see a can sitting on the side of the road with a shredded tire and the rest of it on the road. You know what I'm talking about? But anyway, these are 11 r 22s right, guys? Somebody asked me what, what was 11 R's and all that stuff. See? 11R 22.5s. We just call I just call them 11 R's for short, but 22.5s. You got low pros, you got the regular, um, I guess the regular tire, but anyway, I don't know what these are. I think these low pros, I'm not sure. But anyway, 11 R's. These are below two because these have recaps on there. So you wanna make some money in the motor business without driving a truck? Hire a tire repair place and be able to change these things right here. So when these things blow on the side of the road, the companies that carriers will be calling your company, come fix this. If it ain't a track contract or a DCLI contract, because waiting on them guys, they leave you on the side of the road for about a good five dollars. You call one place, they be like, man, yeah, we'll come out, we'll come out, we right in the area. How much it cost? I right, about three hundred dollars. Okay. And that man, you sit on the side of the road waiting for them to work this deal out. So they call somebody else. They call somebody else. How much you charge? Oh, we charge two ninety five. But we should take about six hours to get to them. Okay, cool. Five five dollars less. He can wait, he ain't going nowhere. So they sit on the side of the road for six hours because of five dollars. I don't know if it go like that, but I'm just saying, you know, you want a mobile repair place, the driver will love you. He want to get off that road, man, off the side of that road. So anyway, 11 hours, 22.5s, guys. And look at, and look at here, look, man. Look at, guys, look, man. Look at that, man. Somebody was eating corn. Somebody was eating corn, well, I'll tell you. You gotta watch where you gotta watch where your step is, boy. 
I bet they're trying to drop a trailer. They're trying to crack a trailer. Hey, oh, I got the bubble guts, baby. I got the bubble guts. Hey, come back here. You know what? I don't know how they took it right here. It had to be a trailer right here. Right here, guys. They had to sit on the track. They bump right there, sit on that boy like this, and just let it ride. And blast out the ground, baby. Man, I tell you, boy. Don't get me wrong. I do understand. And I ain't gonna let that take over the video, guys. But I do understand that, you know, you be in some, be in some sticky situations sometimes, you know, because we in the truck, we ain't got no bathrooms. Unless we got that, uh, that nice, that nice condo, that nice, uh, what do you call that? Studio sleeper, they got a bathroom in it. A lot of us ain't got that, you know what I'm saying? So when the, bu when the bubble guts come upon us, baby, you blast out the ground, baby. Anyway, guys, so I'm gonna have to finish this video and when I get to the real yard, guys, cause I gotta get out of here, man. I'm glad I ain't stepping that crap. I tell you guys, you gotta be careful, man. You gotta watch your feet, man. Watch your feet. These guys are blessed out the ground, baby, with no remorse. Anyway. All right, guys, stay tuned. So I you too. So me anyway, but back to the tires, guys. I know I had to. It took me a while to get this done, guys. It took me a while to shoot this video, but I'm gonna try to do my best to get it done, man. It's been over a couple days. Stuff just been happening. Was able to do it. But anyway, last thing I left off was the lemon eyes, and, and that somebody took a dump. Somebody took a dump in the yard, man. Watch your feet, man. Guys, take a major dumps. But anyway, a good way to make money in the motor business, guys, without driving the truck. And I'm gonna finish the video at the rail yard, but I thought I had to shoot this guy real quick. I'm trying to get this stuff done. I'm piecing this stuff together, guys. I'm piecing it together. I'm gonna let it make it happen, baby. You'll make it happen. It ain't gonna happen. But anyway, we not saying the mobile re mobile tire guy or the mobile mobile repair guy, but mobile tire tire guy really is because, especially in the summertime, man, these things. Well, if you don't know the PSI on some of these tires, like 11 R, it's gotta be a lot. 90, 90 to 95 PSI. And uh, 1020s, 80 to 85 PSI cold. If you don't know that, and you ride out with those 1020s over, over, air to under air, oh, it's gonna be some smoke going on, guys. It's some smoke. So anyway, one time, I mean, I mean not too, dog, uh, been a couple years. I came in the truck, I came in the truck stop hot, boy. Smoking. And there was another driver in there. He wasn't even a can hauler, he was a regular guy. He says, how one today? We blowing a lot of tires today, driver. And he ran inside the truck stop. I was like, and I was smoking, his shredder was smoking, and there was a guy coming in smoking. It was just too hot. So, if you got a mobile tire repair place, especially around where a lot of cans is at, especially in the summertime, oh, you're gonna be busy, you'll get real busy. But anyway, another way to make money off Intermodal guys, without being, without driving a truck, is uh, having a cross dock. A cross dock is a place where when the loads come in, they come in too heavy, the carriers have to take it to a, a cross dock and get reworked. Or if multiple shipments is on one can and the carrier come in to get it, but it's going to a bunch of different places, the carrier they'll bring it in, but they have a cross dock to take it to. Cross dock is where you work well. Most of the most of the trainers I brought to a cross dock or to a uh, a rework dock. A rework dock. <laughs> but most places I come to was a dock, a cross dock type of type of dock. Is that they uh they rework the work they, re they rework them trailers so when a trailer come in too heavy but for the driver to run it or the carrier to run it because most carriers don't have a dock you know they have only trucks and they move trailers from from one destination to the other so a lot of them don't have the operation of warehousing or cross dock capabilities so the carrier got to do the carrier got to have a connect with a, a cross dock somebody they can take the loads to they're too heavy, you gotta get reworked. So that'll be a good place that you can make money in the motor business. A lot, the reason I say in the motor is because a lot of them loads that come from overseas, they got different regulations that we got over here. So they pack it up, man. They, they pack these trailers up, man. These cans get loaded to capacity, plus some. And then you get it on this side with different regulations over here. Man, like, this ain't legal to run, I can't run this. So now they gotta take it to a cross dock. So that's what cross dock's gonna be in there. If you got a cross dock, or you got a dock, or you can do some crossing. I don't know why they call it a cross dock. But anyway, if you got a dock, I like the way docks sound, guys. They make it sound manly. You got a dock! <laughs> anyway. So, all right, YouTube, man. I finally made it to the yard, guys, to the real yard. So now what I got to do is I got to find my boss, guys, I'm going to finish the video. I'll make one more point. I know this video all over the place, man. I've been somewhere, guys, trying to make this video, man. It took like a total of three days to get this thing done. 
Is, is that snow? Hold on, wait a minute. Is that snow? I think it's time to snow, man. Ain't this something? Anyway, anyway, anyway. I hold the chest in front of my box, man. Guys, why? No, it ain't. No, it ain't. My box right here. Is this one right here? Hold on. It's my box right here. I throw the chest in front of my box. I say, why does the box keep sitting up? Two, three, four, five, three, six, two, eight. Okay, no, it ain't in front of it. It's right here, though. All right, make sure that's locked. This is just sticking out. I wonder why, man. It works. Okay. Wonder why. Both phone going up. Okay. Okay. All right. Oh. On my, on my way in here. Man, it was real hot. Boy, that coop was working hard, guys. I ain't gonna say it on here what they was doing. Let's just say I saw some creepers on the ground. And a couple trucks back there. You know it serious when you see the creepers, guys. Another way you can make money off of Intermodal, guys, is to have a secure drop yard uh, for, for, for a couple reasons. One reason is you can have one because you may catch some problems. A, tra a carrier may catch some problems in the rear yard and they don't have a drop yard to put their box, you know, until they get it squared away. So that's where you come in. If you got a drop yard where they can hold like at least 20 boxes, I would say at least 10 or 20 boxes, I think it'd be worth it then. Make sure it's secured. Probably have a security guard on deck. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, you want to have a secure drop yard because uh, sometimes rail yards have to rent out space from you because they don't have enough room in their yards. Uh, carriers have to rent out space. At the end of the day, they may have enough space in their yard, guys, so they got to rent another spot, you know? But for my years of being out here doing this stuff, these are things I've seen over and over again, and I don't think they got enough of them, guys. And I can go, I can go on and on about the details of having a drop yard and why you need one, but you, trust me, if you had a drop yard, you'll make a killer in a motor. A secure drop yard with no space. If you don't have a drop yard, take care of your yard, man. Don't, have, don't be like them, 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 them muddy pits and whatever yard they got, them yards, don't be them yards, man. A lot of guys won't want to come to your yard, man, because the yard all jacked up. That's it for this video, guys. So, I, YouTube, hope this video's helpful. Give you a little understanding of what's going on, chat. And I'll see you guys in this video. Peace.